Earlier this week, we told you about a growing controversy in the small western Colorado town of Norwood. A solar company is trying to build a solar farm in the small town of Norwood that's near Ridgeway. Well, concerned residents and town leaders say their concerns have not been addressed. Tonight, we hear the reasonings behind why some of the locals are so opposed and one, why one energy company is set on this location. We're not against it. We're just against it where, where it's proposed. As well as clean In my last report, I told you about a solar company called One Energy pushing since last May to turn a state-owned plot of land into a 640-acre solar farm. But why are locals so opposed, and why is One Energy so set on this location? First, some locals, including library director Kerry Andrew, don't foresee any direct benefit this solar field would bring to Norwood. Even though they were going to generate enough power for 27,000 homes or whatever it was, none of those are here. But One Energy's associate director for development, Nathan Stotler, disagrees. In this case, a lot of that electricity would flow to Wrights Mesa and to Norwood and other substations in San Miguel County. Another concern deals with the town's scarce water. It would have a direct impact on our water as the town's water treatment plant sits on 80 acres in the southeast corner of that property. This behind me is the town of Norwood's water supply. This is our drinking water for the entire town. They're existing and we'll have to work around them, work around their existing facilities and we're not going to be able to, to hamper the work that they do. We're really incentivized uh, legally and financially um, to make sure that we're not uh, impacting water quality. The historical girly ditch runs through that property. Stotler says they will steer clear of filling in or building on top of that ditch. But resident Demian Brooks says locals use this land for more than just water treatment and distribution. It's currently in ag use. It is used by local ranchers and it has been for many, many years. And then we would work with the farmer um, on the side so that the farmer would no longer be paying to lease that land for grazing. We would actually pay the farmer to come in and graze the land. But there's a catch. The agricultural lease is subject to termination upon the granting of a production lease, a solar production lease. Zack Snyder's family has farmed and ranched in Norwood for nearly a century. His family is currently leasing out the state-owned parcel. If the solar company moves in, they'll have no choice but to forfeit their lease. And furthermore, Stotler tells me only sheep will be allowed to graze underneath the panels. Cows, which Zack's family grazes on this piece of land, will not be allowed because they could damage the solar panels. Another factor brought to my attention, what would this possible change mean for wildlife? It is is a very, very sensitive wildlife area. It's full of deer, elk, nesting, eagles. Uh, the projects are really wildlife friendly. Uh, we work hard to ensure that we're maintaining or even restoring habitat quality in and around our projects. Norwood Mayor Candy Meehan worries about how trucks and workers who build the solar farm will impact the road to town. The conversation was bringing up 100 people every day to this location to do the install. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we go out and we either pay the county to repair the road or we repair the road ourselves. A growing contingent statewide also worries solar panel batteries could ignite already fire-prone habitat. Mayor Meehan says solar farm lights would also threaten the area's dark sky designation. So why is One Energy so set on this sensitive wild land? Stotler tells me it's currently the only state-owned plot of land next to transmission lines, though the transmission lines are found on private property adjacent to this piece of land. And it just so happens, as Demian tells me, a buyer from California who recently purchased a private plot of land will not only give One Energy access to the lines, but where the, the transmission lines cross, those are folks that we're working with and that that land would, if our project were to move forward, would have solar panels on. There is more to this story, but we will have to wait. Until then, Timber Schumann, Gary X.